What helps protect the world's coolest smartphones from the scratches, drops, and bumps of everyday use? Visually stunning, damage-resistant Corning Gorilla Glass. Tough, yet smart. We just started a live streaming show, and I wanted one of these on-air lights to indicate when we're broadcasting. But since I'm a maker, I wanted to take it a step further. This networked on-air light turns on and off automatically by wirelessly checking our stream to see if we're broadcasting. Here's how to make your own. Let's start with the wireless. We're going to use the Series 2 XB radio and this Connect port X2 with the XB Internet Gateway software installed on it. The XB Internet Gateway is free open source software which allows your XB radios to fetch web addresses. The Connect port will connect to your router through Ethernet, and then you'll have to figure out the IP address of the Connect port and load it up in a web browser so that you can configure it. Go to the Python menu and choose the XB Internet Gateway files that are available for free download. After you've uploaded both of them, you'll have to set the xig.py file to start automatically when the connect port is turned on. After that's set, you just need to restart the connect port and then you're ready to set up your XB radio. Plug it into a USB adapter and then launch your favorite terminal program with local echo turned on. After you connect, type three plus signs to go into command mode. Then change the PAN ID to four A's and the destination high and low address to zero, which matches our XB Internet Gateway. Change the baud rate to 115,200 by typing ATBD7. Write those values to the flash memory, and then we're gonna have to reconnect at the new baud rate. After you reconnect, type help to test it out, and then type an internet address. If you see HTML pouring in, you know you're set up correctly. So now let's get the lighting fixture set. I found this cradled wood panel in an art store and we're gonna mount this $11 light fixture to it. The lighting fixture gets wired to a relay board, and we put the XB on an XB shield, which will go on the Arduino. Let's take a quick look at the code on the Arduino. Since we use Ustream for Make Live, we can check the Ustream API to see if we're broadcasting. Here we're using the XB Internet Gateway to request information about the status of our channel. The response is stored as a string, and then we search the string for the word live. If it's found, the light is turned on. If, on the other hand, Ustream's response includes the word offline, the light is turned off. Next, connect the relay to the Arduino. You can mount everything with Velcro, and once everything's secure, there are just a few finishing touches left. These press-on letters are great, and you can get them at an art store or an office supply store. So now let's test it out. Works great! Of course, if you don't use Ustream, there are any number of online services you can use the XB Internet Gateway for. So now our networked on-air light turns on automatically when we start streaming to the Make Live Ustream channel. If you want to learn more about XBs and the XB Internet Gateway, check out Rob Faludi's book, Building Wireless Sensor Networks. And don't forget to check out Make Live at makezine.com live.